Hey. Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech, telecom, and data center professionals. I'm Buffy Harakidis coming to you live from PTC 23. And this is the biggest PTC to date uh, here in sunny Honolulu, Hawaii. And joining me today is Rangu Sagame. Good morning, Buffy. Good morning. He is the CEO, chairman, and founder of Princeton Digital Group, also known as PDG. That's right. That's right. And we just Good. found out the, the meaning behind the name. Why don't you... Uh, give viewers a little bit more about that. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, we are happy to be neighbors. So we live about 20 miles apart in New Jersey, outside New York City. Uh, you know, as we just spoke earlier, Buffy, I live in the town of Princeton. That's my hometown. So that's kind of the boring name of the company that I happened to pick when we started the company. But I live in Singapore now for business. We are headquartered in Singapore and focus on Asia. But uh, Wow, that's exciting. We are neighbors yeah. uh, here all the way across the world in Hawaii today for PTC 23. Uh, so for viewers that don't already know, and mm -hmm. I'm sure many of them already do, yeah. but can you give us a little bit more information about Princeton Digital Group and sure. what makes it so unique? Sure, sure. Thank you, Buffy. Uh, we are a, a pan-Asia data center company, Buffy. We um, started about five years ago, and our primary focus was to build a pan-Asia data center company serving some of the largest hyperscalers, the cloud companies. And over the last five years, we've been able to grow quite a bit. Um, so we have one of the largest footprints in Asia now in five countries, 600 megawatts uh, and 20 data centers. Um, so that's a pretty large footprint we've been able to build. So we are in five countries in Singapore, China, uh, Indonesia, India and Japan. Um, 20 data centers, five countries and a pretty large footprint. And we are backed by uh, some of the world's largest private equity investors, so Warburg Pincus, uh, Ontario Teachers Pension Plan from Canada, and Mubadala from Abu Dhabi. So three large uh, private equity investors and a pretty large footprint headquartered out of Singapore serving hyperscalers. Okay. Yeah. Well, you talked a lot about hyperscalers and mm -hmm. uh, about your footprint there mm -hmm. um, across Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, what types of companies other than hyperscalers and mm -hmm. which type of geographies mm -hmm. are looking to maybe expand into mm -hmm. the Pan-Asia region mm -hmm. uh, would benefit from Princeton Digital Group? Yeah. I um, mean, Asia is um, the fastest growing region in the world, um, growing at over 20 percent year over year across the mar uh, region. And it's, the market is now bigger than North America. So over $25 billion market, growing at over 20%. So it's a very exciting market. And the world's some of the largest hyperscalers are investing quite a bit in this part of the world, the Asia part of the world, as they see their market grow. And as their market grows in Asia, they are looking for partners to um, be able to buy, uh, uh, su supply them with data center services, capacity, and companies like PDG become a very attractive partner for them because we are in multiple countries. Right. And that's where uh, more and more hyperscalers are looking for partners who can serve them across multiple countries at global standards, good quality, and be able to grow with them in the region and have the right kind of capital to help them grow. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we talked a lot about all the megawatts there yeah. and the capacity that you have across Asia, which brings me to this next question here. As you can see everywhere, you know, sustainability is such a hot topic in our industry. Uh, we just launched the Greener Data Directory uh, right. for JSA yesterday. So tell us a little bit more about Princeton Digital Group and their mm -hmm. sustainability initiatives mm -hmm. and goals. Yeah, I think as, as you just touched on, uh, you know, um, sustainability is a core to our industry. We consume a lot of power in our industry. And the way we look at PDG is not that it's a problem, it's more about an opportunity. Uh, because as an industry which consumes so much power, but also brings a lot of efficiency to consumers and enterprises because of cloud and commerce. Um, so we look at it from that perspective and say, what can we do as PDG to be a market leader in bringing not only efficiency in our data centers, but also uh, acquire green power and do look, uh, more innovation around energy storage and those fact, uh, kind of innovation that will help uh, PDG, but also as an industry that we can get better in terms of how we consume power and how we bring in more green power into our infrastructure. Well, I am I'm very honored to be sitting next to you. I mean, you are one of the top thought leaders in our industry. Uh, so oh, you're what... being too nice to me, Buffy. <laughs> and... Um, and, you know, as a thought leader in our industry, very well respected, well known around the world. Uh, what trends do you see impacting the industry as we approach 2023? 
Yeah, I think um, uh, we are fortunate to be in an industry where um, the demand for data center continues to grow because of all the innovations in technology uh, like artificial intelligence, <clears throat> pardon me, um, uh, things like metaverse that's coming in the coming years. These are technologies that are going to drive a lot more data generation, data being created, and that would require more data centers. So if you look at the next five, 10 years, um, uh, it's a very exciting place to be. Uh, we see a lot more capacity be required by the industry to drive data center and cloud services in the market. Um, and particularly Asia, as we touched on earlier, uh, is where we have you know over 3 billion people, some of the world's largest economies now, like Japan, China, India. Uh, I think we are very excited about what we are seeing in Asia in the coming year. Yeah, it definitely is exciting, uh, for sure. And can you give us a preview of what we might expect uh, specifically from PDG in the next year ahead? Uh, sure, Buffy. I think if you look at it from our growth strategy perspective, uh, it's too, it's relatively simple. It's too pronged. We're going to grow deeper in the markets we're already in, like Japan, like India, and also enter a couple of new markets like Korea and Philippines. So we expect, expect to grow um, deeper in our markets and enter a couple of new markets. So that's what we'll see over the next 12 to 18 months. And yeah. where can viewers go if they want to keep up to date with PDG and find out more information? Give me a call. Uh, okay. no, uh, and uh, we can go to our website, PrincetonDG.com. And uh, our marketing information is there. Reach out to us and call any one of us. We'd be delighted to share more about what we do and um, about our offerings. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It was an honor uh, to speak with you here. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to another fabulous episode of JSA TV live here from PTC 23 in fabulous Honolulu, Hawaii. Thank you, Buffy, for having me. Thank Good you. Good to be here. Thank you. And happy networking.